Hi all of you. So this video is going to be about this car that's behind me. I had this car to date 10 years. Had it for 10 years now. It's like since I bought it brand new. So yeah, um, the 2013 Kia Rio. I bought it exactly 10 years ago. Well, that's not exactly, but I mean, it's on April. I bought it on April of 2013 when I bought it brand new. So yeah, all I can say about this car is it's been very good. It's been a good car to me overall so far. It's been really good. So yeah, I mean, what would I say? I mean, well, I know I have to replace the front brakes on this car pretty soon, I think. They'll, they'll, this would be the fourth set. Right now, this car has 138,000 miles or almost 138. And the tires, it's like the third set as far as I would know. Yeah, it is kind of like the third set that I've been through. The other tire, the last set I had, they were Walmart tires and they, they were the crappiest tires I ever had in my life, man. So anyway, and then <clears throat> on this car, as you can see it, I have like 10 years of stickers on this car. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is the car. I mean, it's been good to me, really good. I know I've been, I bumped a number of things in the past. Like one time, the the stick shift lever. I mean, like the the transmission wasn't was not like really locked. Was not really um locked in, and 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 it slid. Or what is it? No, I had it on neutral, but the parking brake wasn't really locked really good. And then it rolled on the it rolled on a hill, and it. And I and I it bumped into a mobile home like across the street of a one that we used to live in, and it made some scratches. And it was dozens of times that I put things on top of the car, like couches, and and I put a boiler one time and a water heater on top of this one time when we were moving out of that house in Rialto, and I had to replace the water heater bought a new one and I put the box on top of this one time apparently you know I locked the keys in the car one time and I broke the window and I, <laughs> I had to pray and I never fixed it since but anyway so the interior all, all the all the years of my kids being in the back seats and and messing it up and well I mean all the years that I went to they took a beating from the, my kids when they were little. And then this car, so yeah, on my camcorder. <laughs> I was making videos on this right now. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit on this car. So yeah. So yeah. So this car starts right up, no problem. Been really good on that part. So this is how many miles I have on it. For 10 years, exactly 10 years. By the time I have it, 10 years, it'll probably be about 138,000 miles. And then this radio is probably my favorite thing on this car because I, because I could hook up this USB. My favorite thing on this car, the radio, because it, it works so good and it, it sounds really good. I mean, for being a, a Rio, I mean, of course, these mats, you know, they got worn out. These mats got worn out with all the miles that I put into this car. So, well, about the car, about the, um, the reliability of the car so far, like the, I mean, I had, I had this, um, <clears throat> I had the, um, uh, a sensor break on me. This, it was a, uh, the knock sensor. No, it wasn't a knock sensor. It was, a, it was a crankshaft position sensor that that kind of got bad on it and i replaced it but it's been good since then i mean no problem since battery i had to replace it like three times see the engine how it sounds it sounds perfect you know like excellent running car really good running car i mean but another complaint that i had before is that it was it was eating oil it, it was eating quite a bit of oil but but it's weird because sometimes it eats oil and sometimes it doesn't.
kind of it kind of depends on what grade of oil I use, I guess, or what um, thickness or that type of thing. It seems like it does it acts up with certain kind of oils. I mean, I guess. But anyway, I mean, the hubcaps. I've been through. I've been through a beating with it, and I know, like, uh, I ran into curbs a number of times. You know, like <laughs> I scratched it there, but windshield i never had a problem i never cracked the windshield well this happened right a long time it happened like after like the first year and then and, and uh, it never got worse or anything <laughs> yeah so yeah this is the car i mean <clears throat> overall i mean it's been good, really good i mean it's been really good to me so and then but you know the engine the reliability of this car has been really good but apparently the air conditioner stopped working on this car but i feel like it's something in the i feel like it's something in in, in the switching system i'm thinking it is because it kind of acted up like last year sometime like when i would first turn it on it used to take about like it used to take maybe a couple of minutes or a few minutes or five minutes before it would actually start to feel cold like or it, it feels like it's just not clicking or something it's like that's just the way i could describe it and, and then if i would turn it off and then if i would turn it back on then it would start working and then it would, that's what it seems like it was doing but one day like on the air conditioner when i would turn it on <coughs> Like turn it on, it was it would work, and then well, it was kind of like losing its cool. It's losing its cool one day, like just out of one day, like it started losing its cool, and, and then and then it just lost it all come all together. But now it stopped working altogether. So, well, like I just turned it on, and if, I don't know if I hear it click or not. I, I I would not think it's gonna work because it didn't work. So I mean. I mean, I didn't want to bother fixing it. I mean, I don't know if I want to fix it or not. I mean, if I have money to do it, I'll, I'll check it out. I'm going to check it out. But I just don't want to take, go through an experience with, with an untrustworthy mechanic like saying that I'm going to need $20,000 worth of parts to fix the air conditioner, you know, like shit. I mean, I know mechanics like to do that, you know. I, I would like to find an honest one. I need. It's hard to find them these days, you know. I didn't want them to tell me what it is, I mean, but what would I think? In my experience, what I'm thinking it could be, I'm thinking that something broke and it caused a leak and it leaked out all the coolant or the Freon, you know, that's what I'm thinking happened. So these manual windows. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, and then on the steering wheel control, that, that these don't work at all now. These steering wheel controls don't work at all, at all now. And then the airbag light is on as well. It's, this airbag light came on in, um, like, like when the car had about 50,000 miles, it started coming on. It had started to come on. And then the, the tire light, well, I broke the sensors, you know, like when, when I was changing the tire myself at one time and I broke the sensor, so I mean, the tire light, I mean, the air pressure light is on, so. So, that's the wear on the, <laughs> from the mile that I've driven this car. The clutch, the clutch has been good on this car. I have no, no problems with the clutch. And what else can I say? And then I had a problem with the keys. I mean, on the car, like the ignition, like the keys were getting stuck. So, yeah, they were getting stuck, you know, like. And and I could not turn it. It would get, it would get stuck, and then the door, the keys are completely completely stuck on the door. I mean, it's like this is where it's at. I, I've never been able to fix it. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't turn this way, but it goes this way only. And the other side, it doesn't work at all. The keys have always has always been a problem with this car. It's always been a problem, and I, I would fix it for a bit. See this key? See how it's slanted like that? See this key doesn't even go in there. It doesn't work at all now. I mean, I had not tried to put WD-40 or anything, but see that this is what it does. That's the only real problem that I had with this car. That just the problem with the keys, and then the trunk too screwed up as well. I mean, 
I mean, it's like, see, it's like, all of these keys did that. It's like, it's like the key won't go, go, like, it can almost sometimes open it, like, without using a key sometimes. But anyway, I mean, this car, oh yeah, one other thing that went bad on this car is a taillight. <laughs> I had one taillight break on this, but I never had problems with lights on this car. I mean, one time a policeman stopped me while I was driving and stuff, and then he told me about the taillight being broken and shit, yeah. He stopped me and stuff, and then and then I replaced the taillight at that point, yeah. And then, well, the other thing that I was having problems with the car, like, I mean, so total, all in all, I mean, the, the other problem I had was a pinging. Sometimes it would be pinging, like it would make pinging noise, knocking and pinging. But it hasn't been doing it lately. I mean, it, it does it only sometimes. The knocking and the pinging only happens sometimes. Particularly if I'm accelerating hard or if I'm driving it hard or going up a hill or something, driving it hard. So pinging, it, it, was, it had started doing that from the beginning of like, it had started doing it at about 50,000 miles in the 50,000 mile mark. And it's been doing it since then. My car had 137 right now, 37,000 miles, 137. And it's still doing it. I mean, it, it's been doing it since then. I just been living with it. I just lived with it. I mean, yeah. And then I would get the check engine light with the, with the um, code, uh, uh, knock sensor, and uh, I would get the knock sensor code. But I mean, and then it would, it would, it would clear up on its own. Right now, there's no check engine lights on the car, so I mean, I haven't had a problem with pinging lately. You know, I don't know if it fixed itself or I don't know. I mean, I just know that I lived with it. I lived with it all that time, and the knocking and the pinging. Well, I, I just don't drive it hard. I mean, it only does it when I drive it hard. And it only does it sometimes. So and then so all, all in all, all the all the problems or issues that I've had with this car, it's like the pinging, and then that the the um, sensor got bad. The um, the crankshaft position sensor went out, and then and then the air conditioner is not working right now. And then the key problem, I had a problem with the keys. And what else, like, so I was like a total of like, what, like four things basically. Keys, the, the crankshaft position sensor, the um, knock sensor, and what else did I say? And then, and then the oil consumption, it eats some oil, but like I say, sometimes, sometimes it eats oil and sometimes it doesn't, you know, like, just in the last in the last oil change on this car that I did, I mean it I mean it didn't need any oil. It's kinda weird, isn't it? That's weird. I mean I went more than three thousand miles on the last oil that I had on this car and I it didn't lose any oil. It didn't lose any. It's weird, isn't it? I mean it didn't need any oil or anything on the last oil change. But like the oil change before that I, I had to add a quart every thousand miles, you know, yeah, I mean it's weird, you know, it's like sometimes it eats a lot of oil and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I guess it just depends on the oil I use. I mean, like it depends on the quality of the oil that I use, I guess. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'll re re say, I'm going to re say it again. Four, four basic things that I've had issues like from the, all the time I had the car. The first one is a pinging, knocking and pinging. And then I had the key problem, the problem with the keys getting stuck. And then now the air conditioner went out. And then the uh, and then the um not the the crankshaft position sensor. And that's about it. I mean, but the car never broke down on me. I, I it never left me stranded. Other than the time on the key. Oh, I dropped my phone. Other than the like, other than the time on the key broke. Yeah. Well, that's the only time that the car kind of left me stranded when the key, like, would I when it got stuck and I couldn't start the car because it was stuck. That's it. I mean, but the car never broke down, or I, I never had to take it to a mechanic to get it fixed, or anything. I never, I never had to do anything major on the car. Dro drove it 137,000 miles, had it for 10 years, been really good to me. 
the smogging, you know, I had to smog it twice in the last two years or in the last five years. So, so I would say that's about it. I mean, so overall, I mean, I, and to, to get the answer straight, I'm, I'm still 100% happy with this car. I'm happy with it. And I mean, I don't, I really don't have any plan for selling it or anything because I'm happy with the car. The gas mileage is good on the car too. I mean, and I, that's another thing I noticed like on the car, on this car, like when I run the, when I run the good stuff, like 76 or any of the other name brand gasoline, I'm going to get 30 miles per gallon. I get 30 miles a gallon on this car, you know. And then if I run the cheap stuff or if I run gasoline that the car doesn't like much, I'm going to get something like maybe 22, 23, I mean, shitty mileage, you know. But I'm, when I run the 76 or other name brand gas, I'm going to get 30 miles. And then I'm going to get um, one time in Vegas, I got, I got like 30, gotten like 39 miles a gallon one time when I went to Vegas with this car. And I could tell you one thing, this car is, I could trust this car to go to Vegas, no problem. And I would say that this car, I mean, I could probably, I would probably feel I could probably get to 200,000 miles from my experience, like, and the way the car feels. I feel this car can make, make 200,000 miles before I have to worry about putting any money into it, any big money. That's me, that's how I, that's how I predict it. I mean, basing it on, on what I know about cars and how good it runs and how I take care of it and taking care of the oil and using the oil that eats, that the car doesn't eat too much of or whatever. I mean, and taking it easy, especially. Take it easy on the car. I feel I can get 200,000 miles before I have to worry about putting any big money into it. I mean, yeah, I, I, I honestly feel. I know Hector, my brother, I mean, he has a Kia Forte. And um, it's a 2016 or 15 or one of those years. And he has like more than 200,000 miles on the car and he, and he never had a problem. It's been perfect, you know. He never, he never broke down nothing. And it still runs like a cock. Has more than 200,000 miles and it still runs like a clock. But I think it's because, um, well, you know what? See, the thing is that the Kia, I mean, you have to be sure, see, these, these ones, these certain years they're like they're made in korea this one is made in korea but i mean the newer ones like scott man said i mean like to try to avoid the ones that are not made in korea because they they they're pretty bad i mean from what i that scott man says you know he kind of exaggerates sometimes i feel anyway i mean this car is made in korea so i mean it's been i mean that's telling me that it's really good i mean those are the ones to get i mean that's what i hear a lot about i mean so that's my overall i'm um, saying on there i mean that's my overall review so yeah i mean so that's it all right i hope you have a good day today is um april 2nd 2023 so i hope you have a good day and this is my 10 year 138,000 mile review all right